What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, I am so excited because I have a brand new Harry Potter subscription box for you guys. And it is from Patronus Potions. This is like a massive box this is their launch box so their very first box ever it is based off year one so I actually found Patronus potion quite a while back on Instagram her potions are absolutely gorgeous she creates these magical chests I've wanted one. Ugh. Subscription boxes. Why do you take all of my money? Um, <laughs> but for real though, <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> Um, <laughs> she is pretty much a potions master. Like, move over Professor Snape. Well, uh, too soon? But she has her own Etsy shop and everything. And when she announced on Instagram that she was going to be doing a Harry Potter subscription box, I knew I had to grab one. So I am so excited to see what she has come up with. But guys, that is a enough rambling for me. I'm going to go ahead and open this box. As this is their launch box, they don't have like a personalized box yet. And with this box, we did get to pick our house. So I'm assuming we will get a house specific item. She, she, ow. Um, we'll save that for last. Wow, I have had way too much coffee. But I do know that we have a wand from Absolutely Adrian, which there really are not enough words to describe how much I love Absolutely Adrian. She is amazing. I love all of her stuff, especially her wand. So I will definitely be saving that for last. But it looks like everything is wrapped in tissue paper. First item. Oh, it is Wax Melt from Leaky Cauldron Candle Co. And it looks like we have a chocolate frog with some sorcerer stones, I do believe. That is adorable. Let's give these a smell. I do love wax melts. Not a super strong smell. It's kind of clean. So descriptive. I, they smell good. That's all, that's all I got for you. They, they smell really good. <laughs> and then we have a chocolate frog. That looks so freaking real. Wow. Oh, that, that definitely smells like chocolate. I honestly cannot wait to melt this and kind of see him slowly melt away. What does that say about me? But no, that is awesome. A nice usable item. Next we have, ooh, it's soft. Ooh, it's socks! Wow, I get way too excited about socks. <laughs> Ooh, these are nice. I love the design. And it's a licensed item. Very cool. And ankle socks. I don't know the last time I got ankle socks in a subscription box. Like, when did ankle socks stop becoming a thing? Because... I love ankle socks, so I'm a fan. Next we have a cute little gold pouch. Okay, oh, let's do this one first. So it is a golden snitch necklace, and it came with a little card that says, congratulations, you caught the golden snitch, and then it gave us a little discount code for their year two box, so that is very sweet. That is so cute. I have to say this is my favorite golden snitch necklace that I've ever gotten because it is on a silver chain with silver wings because I just personally prefer silver jewelry over gold. So I love that it's silver with just that touch of gold for the golden snitch. Oh that's so cute. But we did have another necklace and I can already tell this one it's up my alley and the card says please enjoy your personal dose of the elixir of life at Patronus Potion. Okay, so we have a little bottle of elixir of life. The label is a very cute touch, but to be honest, I am going to cut it off because you really wouldn't want a label just kind of hanging around your neck. We also have a cute little key and then a feather and then a little green gem and then it looks like we have a J. Uh, on the back of the card, it's, I'm assuming it's supposed to be like syllable J. So maybe this was kind of supposed to be like personalized with your initial, which is very cool. Um, 
I am a T. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I will probably just take the J off. Um, if I can, I think I will be able to. I love potion necklaces. I actually have the Drought of Living Death potion vial that I've threatened my husband with a few times. So I really like this. I like the feather detail with the key and the green. I think it works well with the red. I think that's really cute. So even with the mix-up of the initial, I like it. Next we have... Ooh, it feels like an enamel pin. And it is... Oh. oh, it's so true though. It is an enamel pin of a Hogwarts letter and it says still waiting. I'm not gonna lie, this kind of hit home a little bit. This is by Sophie at Nimbus Designs. I'm really loving this gold detailing. That is so pretty. Ooh, we have a wand, but we're gonna save that for last. Next, we have a little box. And we are finally to our potion. And of course, it is one of the magical swirly potions I adore. I love the blue. That is so pretty. We also have the signature wax seal on top with the P for Patronus Potion. The label says number three. Number three, this is referring to Snape's riddle. And number three is the potion that Harry took so he could go forward past the black flames. Was it, was it black? Wait. Hmm? My Harry Potter knowledge is failing me. I'm not a thousand percent sure on that, but this is the potion he drank to go save the Sorcerer's Stone. I really love the reference of this potion, like Snape's riddle and his like potion setup and everything. That was like one of my favorite parts of book one. And I do really like this potion. I just wish it would have been maybe a little bit grander, I guess. Like for their debut box to have a really cool potion bottle. So I'm not saying it's bad or anything. It is a potion. I love potions. I just, I don't know why I was expecting something bigger, I guess, <laughs> if that makes sense. Next we have a wallet. Oh, card holder. Okay. It's Diagon Alley. It's kind of like a map. And it says you're here and then it has like leaky cauldron, get your butterbeer here. And then it has like all the different shops, Flourish and Blots. That's where I would wanna go for all of the books. And then Gringotts over here. That is actually really cool. And it looks like it's another licensed item. I don't know what I would ever use this for. As a nurse, I would never really need business cards, but I really like the map and the design of this. Calvin, my husband, has actually had business cards in the past. Now, if he would actually use this, that is the question. A lot of people ask me, is my husband a big Harry Potter fan? He didn't even know who Dobby was. Yeah. Yeah, guys. He didn't know. He does now. He does now. Rest assured, he does now. Um, <laughs> and he does use a Harry Potter wallet now, so I don't know. I might give this to him. And if he ever has business cards made up again, he can use this. So yeah, I actually really like it. I can't really fault it just because I'm a nurse and we aren't cool enough to have business cards. So yeah. <laughs> Next we have an envelope. Oh, this has a couple things. So it looks like we have a Hogwarts Crest sticker decal maybe. That's actually really pretty. I might put this on my car. I don't know, I might blind the cars behind me at night. That is so reflective. I kind of like that though. So yeah, very cool. And next we have a fluffy item who I think is vastly underrepresented in the wizarding world. We need a lot more fluffy items. And it is a postcard and it says, Fluffy, that thing has a name? That is hilarious. Hermione says that in the movie. Wait, maybe that was Ron. I don't know, my brain has completely stopped working. Um, but I love that you can see Fluffy sitting on the trap door. And then we also have the flying keys and the Sorcerer's Stone in the background. That is so freaking cute. Next we have, it is Snape's Riddle. 
Oh my god, and I love how it's burnt. Like that burnt kind of detail. That is so cool. Directly from the book. I'm such a fan of this. I... There are not words. There really are not. And we have another envelope. At first, I thought this was like a still shot from the movies. But this is an actual like art print. Somebody drew this. That is crazy that somebody is that talented. Wow. Definitely an art print I would have to get framed. It's kind of on that very nice glossy paper. That is amazing. Wow. And guys, we're finally to our last item, which is our wand from Absolutely Adrian. And we have a little feather. Wow, look at this detailing. We have some really cool spirals. And I'm loving this like red coloring detail with more spirals on the handle. Ooh, I'm loving this handle. This is just awesome. Her wands are always amazing. Great quality. That is, that is just awesome. Wow. <laughs> but guys, that was everything in the box. Let's take a quick look at their spoiler sheet. It says the Patronus Packet, the Philosopher's Stone. It says all products are handmade by Patronus Potion unless otherwise stated. Thank you for helping to keep the magic effective. The first item was the Still Waiting Enamel Pin designed by Nimbus Design. The second item was Potion 3 to move through the black flames. Oh, it was black. My Harry Potter knowledge wins again. Number three was the Elixir of Life necklace slash keychain. Number four was the Harry and Ron print designed by Shayna Creates. Girl, talent. Talent. Number five was Fluffy Postcard print designed by Nerdy Design Co. Postcard completed by Patronus Potion. So the back was Patronus Potion. I probably would not have done yellow because it does not show up very well. I would never send this away anyway because it's too cute to give away. So yeah. <laughs> Number six was the enchanting house themed wand. Oh, so this was house themed. So maybe that's why it's red. That is awesome. Number seven is Map of Diagon Alley card holder from Curio Society. Number eight was One Pair House Themed Socks. Nine was Snape's Potion Riddle. Number 10 was the Hogwarts Crest Device Decal. And number 11 was the Wax Melts. So 11 items overall. First, let's just do favorite item, least favorite. And then I'm gonna do like my overall thoughts of the box. So favorite items, um, hands down, the Wand by Absolutely Adrian. That's a given. Also, Snape's Riddle, of course, and the Enamel Pen. Little sticker, card deck wool. I mean, I'm not blown away by, but it is very cool. Overall, I thought this was a great box, especially considering that this is a launch box. I mean, to give us a wand, an enamel pin, a usable item, a wearable item, jewelry, art prints. So I'm very impressed with our first box. The only thing I will say is I have seen what you can do with your potions. And I would love to see you include more exaggerated, different potions that will set you apart from other Harry Potter subscription boxes because you are Patronus Potions. So when people hear your name, they're automatically gonna be thinking of potions. So if you could really wow us with your potions and make your potions stand out on our potion shelves, that will make the difference. But guys, as always, I would love to hear what you thought in the comments down below. But I did want to let you guys know the pre-sale for their second box year two is going on right now till the end of April. The boxes will ship the first week of June. There will be eight to ten items. The box will be $64.99 plus shipping. We all hate shipping. But I do know they're offering a petite packet, which will be five plus items. And it's a little more customizable. And same thing for that. Pre-sales going on right now till the end of April. But again, these boxes are very limited. So if you were interested, definitely go check out Patronus Potions Instagram for all of the information and details. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit the subscribe button if you want to join my small community of hair. Harry Potter lovers and bookworms, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Etchy shot. Chan chan chan. Wow. Wow.
fashion. Handy dandy scissors. Oh, there's a lot. You guys are in for a ride. Ooh, wormies. Oh, I probably threw something. No, okay. Oh. Ghost. Buy another, another. I have wax on my. I got some wax. Um. Oh. <sighs> Mixer of lice. 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 Oh my god. Wow. Lice. That took a left turn real fast. Wow. God, I'm old. Still waiting. As business cards. God. Ooh, this might blind you guys. Ah, Alexa. What's another word for underrepresented? Oh. My God. Fuck. Xander, Xander, baby, close the door. Mommy's not dying. I'll be back in there when I'm done, okay? I'm not done yet. Bella, no. No, baby. Why are you playing your video game? No, I'm not playing my video game. Baby, no. No, 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 baby. I have I have my lights. I have everything. Don't knock any. I know. Oh, I know my lights. Calvin! Yeah, baby, go play. I'll be out in a minute. Oh, Lord, this is taking me forever. I'm sorry, like my lights are blinding. Bubble wrap to play with later. Look. Oh, it's in, uh, it's, baby, it's in, uh, daddy's car. What is, okay, baby. Um, what are these called? Spirals, oh my god. My kids just got here and they're very loud. So if you hear screaming in the background, that's just them. They yell, they scream. No kids are being harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> decal, decal, decal. Oh no, Fluffy, Fluffy. No, y'all, Fluffy's down. Fluffy, shut. Okay, mushrooms. The first week of June. Ah, I'm coming, cats. Don't mess with anything, Kit Kat. <sighs> Kit Kat, stop messing with the camera. Kit Kat, do you have to chew so loudly? 